Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray here. Today, Logic Pro 11. Without further ado, we get to dive into Core Tracks. So this is a brand new feature where Logic Pro implements AI in the form of session players. For example, you can use a bass player to follow you, keyboard player to follow you. Very similar to Drummer, which was an amazing, breathtaking, breakthrough product now we get the ability to just jam in a band so really remarkable product let's get into it here we go all right man let's do this so i'm going to go ahead and set the key of the song that's in d minor and where is the new chord track it's inside of the global tracks key command g and if i control click i can find it right here by default as i did set the key in advance that will be occupied. And so I'm gonna go ahead and change the chord at bar two. I'll use the pencil tool, so I'll hit T to access the tool menu and then P. And depending on your snap to grid, this is gonna behave a little bit differently, but I'm gonna go ahead and click here. And the second chord is E minor seven. Logic is so intelligent, Logic Pro 11 so incredible that basically it'll know what to do as soon as you type in the info. And so now I'll move on to the next chord and here I want A minor 9. Again, you could do it automatically or you can do it manually. So I'll type in A. I want a, a minor 7, but with an added 9. If I wanted to change the bass note, I could do that. If I wanted to change the scale. So let's go ahead and move on to the last chord, and that's just A minor 7. All right, so now once you set up the groundwork, now you can go ahead and start utilizing this tech. So at its core, option command N is going to show me the new tracks dialog window. And this is where we access the keyboard player and the bass player. We've had drummer for the last 10 years. It's been an absolute pleasure, but now it's time to move on. Now, before we move on to the bass player, or the keyboard player, let's just get comfortable with the new updated look. Drummer does have some new features. And so I'm gonna go ahead and set up a R&B kit. All right, so here's the GUI here. It looks really pretty. Check it out. Let's go ahead and create another drummer, but this time we're going to utilize a percussionist. Let's do a pop percussionist. All right, now that we have the drums and the percussion out of the way, let's go ahead and introduce the bass player. Here we go. Sounds really good. I'm gonna go ahead and just make this not as complex. I want something more chill. Here we go. So it looks like we can dynamically mute the bass if you want to. You can play with more or less slides, dead notes, which are very important when it comes to the realism of bass playing. I'm gonna go ahead and change the style though. I'm gonna choose a pop songwriter. Let's see what this sounds like. That slide sounded very good and very realistic. I'm loving it, so easy to make music here. Let's go ahead and check out the keyboard player. I'll have him play in a freestyle. Take a listen. It sounds absolutely lovely. I don't know if I need the left hand of the piano player as I already played my chords in advance. Let's try this. Now this is all being powered by new instruments or updated instruments. Studio piano sounds really good. One of my points of contention for the longest time was I didn't like the piano sounds in Logic. I think these sound quite nice. Check this out, Vintage Upright.
Okay, so we have a bass player, we have a piano player. Let me go ahead and hack the system a little bit. We'll choose keyboard player. Some we're gonna choose an arpeggiated feel. And rather than just choosing the defaulted piano player, I'm gonna go ahead and access retro synth. And let's see if we can get a decent sound out of the synth lead category. These first three are kind of nutty here. Let's try this one. All right, if we wanted to simplify just the chordal structures, let's do that here. Let's check this out. So from a bird's eye view, this is my first time going into this. It is incredible how detailed it is. If we just look at the style, we can choose a moderate style, complex, follow the right hand. We go into the details tab. Looks like you can play with tempo, double time. You can play with voicings, root only, root and octave, root and fifth. There is so much to this update. I know I've heard a lot of people complaining that, that there wasn't enough features to call this an update but let me tell you guys this is such a blessing on so many different levels this can open the doors to music making for for thousands if not hundreds of thousands of people out there so the fact that we're going to have a lot more individuals writing the kind of music that they want to write is is an incredible thing i've been doing this for the last 10 years now and if i had had this when i first started it would have been immensely helpful I think it's good to have the technology and also it's good to have the knowledge base as well. So I think this is absolutely incredible. So here I've set up basic chord, got an R&B kit, percussionist, bass player, piano player, and a synth pad. And it sounds like this. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Eddie Gray here, that Logic Pro guy. Do me a massive favor, go ahead and like the video, go ahead and share it, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.